Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. She's French and if you're new, welcome. So for today, I wanted to do a video showing you guys my newest pieces in my closet. I know this has been super, super requested. Um, so I figured I would show you the new pieces and then do a whole closet try on in a later video. So I'm going to show you what I've added. It's not many. It's over the span of a year. I'm still a minimalist. My closet is still super minimal. Um, I do like to switch out my clothes because I do get bored. So I'll resell the pieces I'm tired of and then use that money to add some new ones in there. So this is over the course of a year. I was also pregnant, so I didn't do too much shopping regardless. Um, but while being pregnant, I started to look through my closet and realize that there was a lot of things that I didn't see myself wearing after having the baby. So um, this allowed me to add some pieces that are a little bit more, I'd say a little bit more casual and then just work a little bit better with my lifestyle. Still fashionable, still trendy. I still like to look nice. Um, but yeah, same color scheme and everything. So hi guys, future Jenna here. I was actually going to show you what my closet looks like. Um, I'm not going to do the full closet. I'm just going to give you a little overview to show you that I truly am still minimal. Um, the pieces that I am, that are new are on the bed right now. So this is just without, I think there's seven of them. Um, so I'll show you my closet first. I wanted to show you my slippers. This is very important okay so let's head into the closet uh, we've switched rooms because we moved into the bigger room and then put the office in the other now that we are sharing the room with Zen so here is my closet these are actually things that I'm going to sell um, there's like a whole three things but whatever for transparency this is my wedding dress. These are my two pairs of jeans that don't fit. I have a little bit of jewelry in there. Ryan does too. These are my scrubs from when I was working in clinic, but I don't work in clinic anymore. Um, up there I have a cardigan, my pair of black shorts. This is socks and this is underwear. And then here is the bulk of the closet. So you see it's very minimal. I have my bags down here. Still, like, I think five pairs of shoes and then that's it so let's head back into the video now let's get started I'm going to show you the pile here oops here are the pieces so it's kind of more like colder weather stuff because for the most part I seem to wear the same like little casual crop tops and then I'll throw on a layer if I get cold I live in California so the weather is really moderate um it doesn't get too too hot it doesn't get too cold so um i can still get away with keeping only a few pieces in my closet i don't have to rotate crazy weather pieces so let's start with my newest accessory it's in here as you guys might know i'm obsessed with little mini tiny handbags the tinier the better i really wanted a prada bag i had been looking at the one that goes over the shoulder really wanted that one i still do but i'm seeing it so often that i wasn't sure if i might get tired of it um i did this a few years ago with the gucci belt that was so popular i really wanted it i ended up getting it and then the moment i got it i actually realized that i was already tired of it not from wearing it myself but seeing it on other people so i decided to go for a different kind of mini Prada bag here it is it's so cute it actually fits a lot I have um, Jacques Mousse bags um, the tiny little micro ones this actually looks a lot smaller but fits more um, it has a zipper so it expands a little bit bigger the only thing is that this bag you're carrying it like this pretty much which I actually don't mind I really like it and then if I'm out with the baby I can throw the whole bag into the baby bag that's on the stroller so this works really well for me the inside's just black with the logo it has the little i don't know if you can see the little silver oops is it gonna focus oh my god i have a new camera i'm still learning it here it is a little logo in the front and then it's kind of like a shiny silky satin material it's not nylon I'm still considering 
one day getting a nylon one or one in that shape but for now I'm really happy with this one the next piece is a nude jacket I know that this might seem very bold for a new mom but I actually haven't had many disasters with stains on my clothes so I think this is gonna be just fine if anything I'll be wearing this um, when I'm like out with the stroller so the baby won't be on me with potential um, spit up wrists I won't really wear this in the house while holding the baby so this is by are you am I it's kind of like a denim jacket the idea of this is actually that it's like a pair of pants that have been reversed so I'll show you kind of if you took the top of your pants and then made them into a jacket I just love are you my pieces um, I always love their jackets you'll see I have another um, I have my little black jacket that just snaps I I wear it all the time you'll have seen it in my other videos and um, Whenever they come out with jackets, I try to get them. This I actually found on their Depop. Um, they'll sell their samples. The jackets can be quite pricey, but I managed to get this for less than 50% off. Or for more than 50% off. Um, so that was amazing. So here it is. I'm going to try to fold it. You guys know I'm super careful with my clothes. I only have a couple, so I take really good care of them. The next piece is another jacket by RUMI. This one has a beautiful gold buckle in the front and then it kind of hangs open. You don't really close the inside. And then the cuffs have a really pretty detail like this with the little gold chains, uh, chains, um, loops with a little piece of fabric that tightens super beautiful this jacket is so stunning it reminds me of my other one it has a raw hem the one that I was talking about with the snaps I love that jacket so much and I was like oh I feel like I should have another because it's totally my favorite but I don't want to of the same so this one was a jacket that I was in love with price tag was a little bit expensive I actually bought it when I first got my other one and I was gonna pick between the two I kept the other and then I couldn't stop thinking about this jacket over the span of maybe two years. Um, they ended up putting it on sale, so I grabbed it in the sale, and I'm so happy I did. The next piece is, there's a lot of REMI, it's actually my favorite brand. Um, I just feel like their materials are really good, the fit is really good on me, they work well with my body shape, and... Um, I just like the designs. I feel like they're very unique, but still very wearable. So this is just a black crop long sleeve, super soft. The detail on this is that the sleeves kind of bunch and create like a little bit of gathering on the arm. You'll see this when I try it on. It's very hard to show just a black t-shirt like this, <laughs> um, but this is it. Um, I just needed something that I could layer under their jackets because um, for the most part, I have things that are short sleeves or tank tops. I needed something a little bit warmer that was simple enough that I wouldn't take away from the jackets. So I grabbed this one. This one I got on Poshmark. I like to buy a lot of things secondhand if I can. Um, so this I got secondhand. Super happy about it. Quality's perfect. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I, I think I got all the RUMI together. This is another piece. This one is ribbed. And the detail, like I said, RUMI does really cool details. The detail on this one is the little notch in the front. It's very hard to show, but you'll see it when I try it on. Um, so it's fully ribbed, kind of the same material as this one. This is RUMI as well. Um, they had come out with the tank top version of this. Am I in focus? Okay. <laughs> they had come out with the tank top version of this. I really liked it, but didn't jump on it. I'm actually pretty slow to buy pieces, so I kind of look at them for a really long time before making the commitment, and a lot of the time I wait a little bit too long and they're gone forever, so I was pretty sad about missing that. When I saw they brought out the long sleeve, I really wanted it, but the price point was a little bit too high, so I was able to find this on, on Depop, got it for a really good price, and I absolutely love it. This one... I got because the other long sleeve will be to wear kind of under jackets as a really simple layer. This one I wanted to wear by itself because like I said in California, 
the weather is warm enough that I can get away with just a long sleeve sometimes. So I wanted to wear this with some jeans or some pants and just show off the little detail. I'm talking so fast, I'm already out of breath. It's been a while since I filmed, as you guys know. Um, so next up I got some pants. These are one of my most recent purchases. These are actually some Dickies. Um, there's the little logo in there. Um, oh, this is going to be hard to show. I have ridiculously long legs. <laughs> it makes it very hard to find pants. I have a really hard time, which is why I don't have a lot. Not only am I minimalist, but I just could not for the life of me find pants anyway. So these have like a baggier bottom. They're kind of like a straight leg black pant. They kind of look like dress pants. Absolutely love the, I don't know if you can see it, the flat pockets in the back with the little button on one side. And then the front just clips in like this. Let me show you. And you'll see this better too when I try it on. I just wanted something different to my jeans um, currently. Um, so I just had a baby. <laughs> And my clothes do not fit the way they used to. My jeans, I absolutely could not button yet. Um, while pregnant, I actually put on about 60 pounds, which was a lot. So I'm still uh, four months postpartum right now. I'm still working the weight off. Um, I'm kind of letting it happen naturally. I am trying to make good choices while eating, but I always have anyway. Um, so I think maybe around the six month mark, they should fit. And if they don't, that's probably the time that I'm going to look into getting a new pair of jeans. I absolutely love jeans. They're actually my favorite um, pieces of clothing ever. And I have really great jeans. Um, and one of my pairs was a major investment piece. So I would love to fit into those again. If I don't, I'll just sell them and try to get them again because I love them so much. Um, but I got these. These were very affordable. They're Dickies, but I think they look great. They remind me of the fit of my jeans, um, but they're kind of trendy with the style right now, kind of wearing like some like business style, like workwear clothes. So I wanted to try it out. Really happy with these. And uh, these are pretty much all that I'm wearing apart from the pair of leggings that I have on right now. And then for the final piece, this is a knit sweater by Aneen Bing. This is the logo right there in the front. Am I showing it to you? No, it's right there. <laughs> so you guys might remember, I'm not a big fan of logos. I'm not a very flashy person. I would much rather like a really good fabric or really good like cut and details than like flashy logos. Um, I don't care for where your clothes are from and how much you spent on them, um, but I do appreciate good design. But basically, I really wanted something that I could throw on when it gets colder, um, something a little bit thicker. That's not like wearing like a shirt and then a jacket just for like a cozier moment, I guess. Um, I'm super tired of seeing sweatsuits everywhere though. So when I was trying to find this missing piece in my closet, I was really having to think because what I wanted was something that would fit just like a sweater um, or a hoodie. But I am honestly so exhausted of seeing them that I didn't want to get that. So I figured that a knit was perfect. I've actually had my eye on this for a long time. Um, I got this super discounted on sale from Nordstrom. Um, I think I maybe got an ad for it or it got me like that. Um, my phone is very smart with that. It kind of knows exactly what I've been looking at and then at the perfect moment, it's like, ooh, remember this piece? So I couldn't resist the price, it was very good. And I just think it's beautiful. I think the knit is really pretty. Um, it's chunky, a little bit like um, textured, but um, still like a fine knit. So almost like a hoodie or a sweatshirt, but in a knitted material. Um, the color is really pretty. It's like a beigey brown. Um, I just think it's really pretty and it's the perfect layer. I got this pretty oversized. Doesn't show the size, of course. I think I got a medium or a large and this is an oversized fit to begin with because I wanted something like super slouchy. So I'm super happy with this. I definitely needed something like this in my closet. So that is a great final piece to show you guys. That pretty much sums up everything. Um, I'm gonna show them to you on, I'm filming this before obviously, but you'll have seen them on me. So 
Let me know what piece was your favorite. Let me know what pieces you've added to your closet or you're thinking about adding. I would love to know. I love fashion. While I'm a minimalist, I still like to look nice. I don't really do the whole like, I have one t-shirt, one pair of pants, and that's all I wear and I'm happy with that. I'm not really doing the whole Steve Jobs thing of minimalism. Um, I just love good design, I love fashion. So hopefully that was fun for you guys. Next up is gonna be showing you my full closet um, and trying it on all over again to show you what's different. Keep in mind my beautiful favorite jeans. They don't fit, um, I'll still show them to you guys. They're amazing, I still super recommend them. They just don't fit anymore. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. Bye guys. Whoa.